What's up, my little postlings? We're continuing with the next fest. Let's just keep getting on with these games. Thank you. What's up, folks? This is Millennial. Millennial? Millennial. That one. Do that word. That's the word we are. Millennial. Alright, let's give it up. It's supposed to be a Forex game. Hmm. Quick start custom game. So, quick start Reno. Starting bonus. I don't know what any of that is, so let's have a random one. Nation, let's, we got a purple flag. I want a purple flag. Okay, it is. Uh, no one's got a purple flag. That's a Zulu. United States. The United States have one star. I don't have that as a Zulu flag. United Kingdom. That is not United Kingdom flag. Russia's free scrap, I think. Ottoman Empire. That's current day Turkey Japan's the only one I see look like it the rest look like really old versions which should be fun yeah I'm definitely adept should say inept that would make more sense oh look at that farm I'm gonna go rob it that Rome actually dee 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 ooh Welcome to Millennium. Messages like this will introduce parts of the game. Go by doing tutorial in parts. Move your cursor over the key phrases to learn more about them. Terrain. Oh, yes, that's terrain. But right, if you want me to explain what terrain is, go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not going to explain what terrain means. All right. The next button in the bottom right will guide you through the turns. Additional information will be available in the informative area, which is normally a book. Or Wikipedia, not Wikipedia, I think. Right, oh, look. Oh, research. Your nation generates knowledge, which is used to research technology. Yep, okay. Production. Each of your regions generates production. Little hammers. So, this is like a. Sims. What is that called? Civilization, that's the word. Buildings and units. Okay. Army basics. The formations of people on the map are units. Left click units to select them. And then right click a location gives them a move or attack order. Some units have special units actions which appear on the bottom above their portraits. Yeah, the portraits. Multiple units in the same location become an army. Just like in Civilization. I think it's four or five introduced that, which is a brilliant mechanic. But it was very cartoonish. I like that one. I think it was on a PlayStation. Playing PlayStation 2? 3? I don't know. You can sub select units in an army by clicking the portraits visible at the bottom of the screen. When an army is selected, this is also how you access a specific unit's special unit action. Units with a flag below them belong to another nation. Yes, we've got to kill those people. Right, okay. That same thing? Alright, dismiss. Manchester. Country we do. Oh, we do. We're England. United Kingdom. Yes, no? Right. Graphically. This looks alright. Ooh. We can gather. Grassland. Hunting camp. Okay, so you can improve tiles, which is good. Let's have a look. What do you do? Skip army. Guard. Ban. War baron unit. Seven attack, ten defense. 50 out of 50 health. Morale is 40 out of 40. I don't like it when they have morale in these sort of games. Make a full fire attack. Right, let's go find some people to murder. Yeah, oh, look. We've got food there. I think they grab it. That's uh, fish. Hello, beautiful. Is it not an automated scout? Use your technology. 
Okay. Plantation. Improve. Cost 15. To improve. Work. Ooh, okay. So on. Food. Stockpile. Cost. Oh, it's a building. Okay. Region 1. Two, three, three. I don't use that making that noise. I don't like that. Farm improvements cost 12. Improve point point. Okay. Cancel. Ooh. Plus one knowledge. Oh, knowledge. Archers. Okay. Burk. What are we doing here? Allows units to move through towns. Boot on. Okay. Scouts. Yeah, I don't want scouts. Workers can improve. Right, so I'm going for either. I'm tempted to go for them so I can get research points. Okay. There's only selected there. Right, growth one. Take out population. Oh, look, it stays in the screen for way too long. We've got forest. Adds one food production. Um. So this is. Pretty much a new version of civilization. That would be uh, interesting, especially when they deal with the battles. Civilization is a nice game, but let's face it, it just turns into a race for technology. That's pretty much the game. So it'll be interesting to see another group of people do something else. All right, so you can uh, build stuff. What we got? We got walls. Let's build some walls. So town centre. Cost 21. One government XP. Do we have a town centre? So this is your workers. I don't have any workers at the moment. Alright, so they're gathering food for me. So I've got one there. That's locked. So another one put them there. That's what they would make and produce. Okay. Well, I think I need scouts first. So needs 200% plus 100. That's my region. That's my growth. Enter. Production. You know it's production. Right, well, that... That should appear when you hover over it for a few seconds, so you, it knows you need to do it. But this just constantly appears. Kind of aggravating. Army basics. Good. Start. Let's push that. Okay. We'll go around find out what's in our immediate facility. Oh. That camera is a bit. Uh, what's going on? Uh, landmark. Gives you more experience. Okay. Right. Off my screen. Use the Wii. Right, let's see how we can zoom in. See what we can see. I want to see a fight. I want to see the animations. Right, so research. That's how long until it starts. Five turns. Culture. I will get another plus two culture in three turns. And tribal. Government. Okay. And that's what I'm building, and in four turns, my scout's gonna be ready. Okay. But each region generates production, which is used for commerce building. Train units. What? If I just read this, the open production menu, you're gonna read. But yes, I think I have just literally read this. Why is that popping up again? Is it because there's an extra page? Every time there's another page, you gotta jump to something else like that. That's not a very good way of doing it, by the way. You have locked a second domain. There are six 
domains you start with the government's domain and unlock the others when you earn your first xp in each click any domain stop making that appear that's annoying me on the left of the screen any domain power currently available as you earn domain xp you will be able to spread spend it on domain power for unique results yeah that pop-up is actually really aggravating me as you scout keep an eye out for landmarks that's that um bing -a -bing -a -bing. landmarks are special locations at very tall mountains dense jungles and majestic canyons majestic canyons i mean that place where people die from lack of water yeah very majestic move a scout next to an undiscovered landmark and use the scouts discover marker use action to gain a one-time bonus landmarks already discovered by other nations cannot be discovered but now you can only discover land i was going to ask if I, they could get to the water one it knew it knew i was going to ask if we could get that right oh is that a barbarian tribe a time camp a peaceful minor tribe encampment with any of the camp gets done does that make another city? Strange designs. The machines and tools used in this village are unlike any other. For the wagon, mate. They serve the same purpose, but are designed with completely unique ideas. Study their ways, plus five knowledge. Make use of their tools. Five improvement, let's have improvement. Building up my city fast, it's more important. That has 17. I don't know if that's supply my city or not. I don't think that's another city. Right. You. Where you going? Oh, look. Speaking of you, there's a sheepy sheep. Right. Three more till my scout's done up. I say you'll go all the way. I will go. All right. Let's have a look. Governments offer ideals that can be purchased to improve your nation. Uh, don't they just steal taxes and pretend to do a job they never, never do? Currently, you have enough government domain XP to purchase tribal government ideas, such as tribal farming. Get at the way you stupid writing. To see all the ideas offered by the tribal government, select the tribal button on the left under government. While you can afford a tribal idea right now, if this is your first playthrough, it may be smarter to save your government XP for a settler. 30 government points. Alright, so I can get a new settler if I save up. Right, go away. Government points. Six. I need 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, I've nearly got my little uh, elders going. Old people, eh? They're going to show me the way. And not die, hopefully. Right, get off the map. I think the forest is slowing you down way too much. And again, we go all the way to the end of the book. Food. Oh, rice. Looks like fish and a little plant some herb your people need food stop making that appear without enough food they starve and a region's population declines with surplus food a rich population will grow the larger supply the faster the growth up to a limit as your population grows so does your get off my screen right get more population Damn, that's annoying me. Cultural powers are a powerful ability that mark major events in the history of your nation. As you generate culture, the culture meter to the left feels when full. You can select a cultural power to cause potent effects. Different culture points unlock throughout the course of the game. Click in the area of the left labeled culture to see a menu of cultural powers currently available if this is your first playthrough a good option to use the 
Great town culture power first. Okay. Where's the culture? Oh, improvement points. Oh, I want improvement points. I can use them now. Hunting camp. That, um... Could have been something that was shown to me a while ago, improvement points. Right, uh... What did I look for? I'll stay on the left, with it? Culture, ready. Oh, okay. Great a town. Great a town. A new level one town in or adject to your territory. Towns increase a region's level, generate wealth, but adject improvement generates press crown influence to speed. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, what's your ones? Get off the screen, you idiot. Local reforms, government cultural power. Exploration culture, immediately gain knowledge, advancing currently research technology. Yeah, there's no point in that, because I need everybody. Let's have that. Right, click, cancel, okay. Oh, we have pool. Pool? Pool. Right, where are my soldiers? Go forth and murder everyone. Right, I don't think I'm going to move the next turn. What I'm going to do is see if that says pick your teams, uh, pick the other people. Very important this whole game. Otherwise, you end up losing units. Cultural power. Cultural powers are powerful abilities that mark a major. I should read this. All right. All right. It says don't show again. Seems to be ignoring that part. Oh right, yeah. You must scout. Yay. God. Please tell us we've got all my scouting feature. Right, so this can't see an all my okay, feature. Right. What can we build? Let's build something. Town centre has been built in it. I mean, plus three influence. There we work force. So, other than movement, what's the real difference? That's got better defense, I think. I don't know about him. Because three of them merge together. Uh, if that is the case, it makes them a lot more powerful. But right, it does find other armies in that, which is awesome. I'd like to see if I can combine three armies into one mega army. Nothing else matters but that. Select one of your armies, right click on an enemy. Yeah, okay. Go back down here. Can I have it all? I uh, can all move. Yes, you can set the area. Set the go now. Who are you? All right, so that wall band. I thought that was the um, this guy then. Oh. Who's that? Is that bad? He's son of a bitch. The Egyptians. Choose a technology. Yay. Yeah. 
Let's go farming. Four turns to make some farmers. What are we going for? Tribal farming. Oh, yeah. Raise tribal army. Did you tell me to save up something? Yeah, let's get out. And right, let's get out. Be both of them. Who cares? End turn. Oh, you're gonna die, little man. Yeah, I've met another nation. I suppose at least one meeting was necessary. Look, and you gotta go all the way through this book. I have it appear and I open on the page. Do you want me to look at it? Right, don't have me keep going through that. That's annoying. You have uh, encountered another nation. Some nations are like your own. These grow, settle new territories. Do, 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 do. They want any voice okay, but uh, you can talk to them. Right. Well, we're not going to talk. Uh, it's not doing anything to me. I don't know. I might start one in a little while. Once I get the grips with the game. How far are you coming? Come on, boys. You're going to merge. How long? Two more turns. Right. Oh, my little blue circle grew. Dang it, what's this? If you accidentally move an army to the wrong... This has an undo button. That is very important. Most of these games do not have an undo button. It's bleeping and annoying. Yeah, that senses my word. What? Grassland. Oh, couldn't they do something? Uh, what is it? These special things. Right, where was he? This horsey dude. I don't know if this means they discover it or what. I think they're just resources on the land. I don't think they're special. For one more turn. Oh. We're going to become a mega unit. What have you got to tell me now? The undo button. And... Alright, you need to get our book being sorted. Because that is... Annoying the head out of me. Well, for some reason, I've got 10. All right, 10, 20, and 20. Go right around there next turn. Right, where's our army? We are someone's land. He's here. Oh, yes. I spot you, banditos. Scrub land. Send an invoice. No, I'm going to go talk to you. What's up, buddy? Idle region. Right. Da, da, da. Let's go build some scouts. Let's build some buildings in my land, I think. Build up a little bit. Not all about the enemies. Born scouts. That's what I was saving up for. I knew this thing. Trick me. Oh, she tricked me. So it's her fault, I haven't got what I need. <laughs> yeah, this book's opened again. Not becoming annoying. Oh, look. Barbarians. Not everyone is friendly, for that matter. Not everyone is civilized. Kill the barbarians. Still their stuff. Okay. Improvements. You likely have enough improvement points. To build improvements. Yes, I do. Thirty-three points on the bottom left screen. That's the hunting cabin. 
I've already done it. Did I do that? I think I already did that, buddy boy. Let me. What was it? Mm -hmm. Hunting grounds. So I can build a giant hammer there. Build a giant hammer there. I'll build a giant hammer there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Giant hammer. Right. Scouting team. Let's go. Oh. You're in trouble now. Get for not being me. Right, my scout has been injured. Probably I wasn't paying attention, but I don't remember that happening. But right. attack. I was attacked by barbarians, was I? Right. Why can't I can't attack them ones. It's gonna let me attack them ones. It's not gonna let me attack the bomb ones. I can regroup. So I can heal. Actually, I can ride back to the city and turn into a group of three. Yes, we've got some farming going on. Uh, let's do this guy. Knowing the land is important to my people. Yes, because I have meat. Uh, feel my meat. Enter. Let's kill my guy. Right, this is really starting to get my wicker look book. They did. So you right. That needs to be sorted. I didn't see what happened. There was no ah, battle sounds, which is like he's dead. Deal with it. Right, yeah, so there needs to be like an animation or something. Because if I wasn't keeping an eye on that, I wouldn't even notice he had died. And later on, when you have like loads of armies, you're not going to keep track of them all. There should have been uh, an animation and a display. Combat. Plus 30 wealth. Yep. Productivity. Right. That needs to be done. This whole book constantly popping up. Sometimes it's relevant. All right, that whole uh, book popping up is a nice idea. Sometimes it's relevant. Sometimes it's just not. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's ignoring the whole bit of stop showing me. Hmm. I don't know whether I like this game or not. I, I think it's too early to tell. In fact, I cannot just choose to attack them. That's that. For a surprise attack. I don't want to know what I'm doing. Keep your people guessing. The game looks good. The sound's good. But they definitely need to be animation of the combat. Stop that bloody book pointing up all the time. Just have it like that appear there and a noise. And people can go over if they want to. It's the first frame. Explain to them. This book will appear with information if you want to go over and look for it. Because if you're playing this game and every time you start up a game, this is happening, it's going to really annoy the people at you. But the game does look good. It, uh, especially for an indie developer taking on a game this size. Yeah, I want to see more of that. I think the last big one I saw was civilization and humankind was I think was another one but you need to make it a bit different don't go along make the same game I like the idea of it I like the concepts of the game so I gather out of each era you're going to grab three parts 
and then moves on to the next era. So that means that every um, city would be slightly different. Like my culture and someone else's, because they could have picked something else. And if this continues to the next part, and it's only these three that lead on, technology wise, that's going to be quite interesting because each, uh, yeah, each like, area would be the um, difference. Very little difference. I like this game. I think it's alright, but I think it's got a lot of uh, teething issues. Especially when it comes to strategy games. Because uh, strategy players are quite uh, vocal about issues. That's a nice way to put it. I know, because I'm a strategy player and I've been in those forums. For a starting concept, yeah, it's good. It's got all the potential to be something really cool. Just stop the book popping up. Have animations for fighting. The color scheme seems a bit bland, but this is a demo, so maybe they're going to improve on that. Like that effect there of the stones, that that looks all right. It hasn't got to be anything more than that, but the uh, grass stones that should be a bit more greenish and a uh, richer green, if you know what I mean. Right, so I'm going to leave that now. Uh, you make your own mind up, play the game. I'll keep an eye on it. See where it goes. Good, a good start. That's what it is, a start of a game. The Pulse Beetle, thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep the pulse. Remember, 